Maybe football is your game. I mean, you play like you're trying to run your head through a brick wall. <laughs> nah, this game ain't for you. This game's all about nuance. Subtlety, son. Paul Frazier, Bill Russell, MJ. Yeah, what about LeBron? He was a football player. You ever seen that man pass? That's the beautiful game right there. Yo, Duke, great to see you on the court again, baby. Yo, we saw you win state. Brick City for real, son. Thank you, appreciate y'all. See that, son, right there? That's what I'm about. What are you about? Right now, this is a rebirth. We are only as strong as our belief in each other. Yeah? Yeah. All right. Come on. All right, let's go now, Breeden. Are you ready? Yeah. yeah. I said, are you ready? Yeah. yeah. One, two, three. Eagles. Eagles. Junior, just a second. No pressure here. All you gotta do is be better than me in my first game. Yeah. All right, so what happened? Just aim for more points than turnovers, all right? And you'll do fine. This is your moment. Thanks, Josh. Let's go, baby! Hello everyone and welcome to this broadcast of Garden State IAA Basketball. I'm Joe Lamy, joined by Drake Hugo and Danny Hogger. We can't wait to get another season rolling and we look to get a great matchup to kick things off. Well, a classic matchup with the Newark East Eagles playing host to the Burton Hornets. Both teams looking to improve on their final positions from last year. A win tonight would be a great step towards that goal. Bobby Erickson leads the way for the Hornets. They go, go against an Eagles team with quite a few new faces. Still though, Newark is led by senior KJ Day. And the crowd will be a factor here for the Eagles. This is the type of atmosphere you love to see at the high school level. Well, with the new season underway, here is how the Eagles are gonna look. You have the team captain at the point, KJ Day. On the wings, it's gonna be Sheffield and Lack. Zadirka will play power forward, and the new addition of Junior gets the start in the middle. And the Hornets come in with their usual lineup. Luan and Dermanenko are in the backcourt. Star forward Bobby Erickson begins the game at the three. Ramadas and Eslanoglu fill out the four and five spots. And the Hornets and their roster, they aren't scared to play small if they need to. Looking at the rest of the division, the Hornets are one of the smaller teams overall. They just don't have that many big bodies in the program, but they know how to make up for it with defensive rotations. Don't be fooled, this team is still deadly albeit a tad undersized. Here's the Dierko, and it's good for two. I like the junior's always paying attention. He sees opportunity forming, and he moves the ball to the open man. And here's Steven Porter from the arc. Junior grabs the miss. Flat out inexcusable defense. They got lucky that he somehow missed that shot. He knows he should have buried it with the defense being that lax. Drills it from deep. Look at Junior getting in the zone at the arc. Doesn't allow himself to get distracted when he's taking aim from three-point territory. Dermanenko outside. 
And that one's good for Porter. That's where they want their shots to come from, and that's the passing it'll take. Well, the Eagles looking to get some great production from their guard, KJ Day, this season. Now a senior, he has all the tools to lead the charge and be the spark for this offense. Outside Levesque, here's Ramados. Drops in the lamp for two. Have to admit, Ramados can really go to work inside. Able to find his way to a nice shot in the paint. And with Day, he's impressed as a junior. You just love the way he brings it on both sides of the ball. Absolutely, Joe. Day isn't just a scorer or initiator. He's a pest on the defensive end. Day's versatile enough to fill any role at either guard position when his team has the ball. The first one falls. Like a lot of players from Newark, Junior plays with a little bit of a chip on his shoulder. He's out to prove there's just as much talent in North Jersey as there is across the river in New York. And that's good as he hits both that time. Here's Levesque. Pass to Erickson. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Sheffield. That is his first foul of the game. Here's Levesque. And here is Porter, covered by Junior. Outside Levesque. Ramadas. That was an ill-advised pass attempt. He had to know there was a man there in position for the steal. And you look at the play style of Bobby Erickson, very much a modern wing who can play off the ball or initiate things for this offense as well. And Erickson might be lined up out on the wing, but he'll do pretty much everything you ask of him in this offense. Coach figured out very quickly this team is at its best when Erickson has the ball in his hands. And that one drops. Impressive awareness from the big man. Ramadas spotting the uncovered teammate and sharing the rock with him. Newark East trailing. Right side, Day. Back to Junior. From deep three-point range, the Eagles with yet another miss. To the inside, here's Ramadas. That's his fourth basket of the game, and he's only taken four shots off to a hot start showing you the instincts he has as a passer. Sheffield outside. Junior, day with it. Picked up by Porter. Count that one. And buckets like this get day fired up, demonstrating some muscle on the physical finish. Outside Erickson. The shot misses. Jonathan Lack with some nice D. Here's Junior. Finds the hole for the second time from the floor. Now two for five. No doubt the star of this Burton squad is Bobby Erickson. He's a gifted scorer and playmaker. And he's been with the Hornets for quite some time now. And he's been the star. Right now, sharing the basketball beautifully.